What's going on y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. So today we're going to talk about how to get a girl that is hotter than you. So a lot of guys watching my channel, I'm sure you want a pretty girl. So let's figure out how to get you a pretty girl, a girl who is prettier than you. Because if you want a girl who's prettier than you, you gotta deserve it, okay? And not everyone can get the prettiest girls in the world. And if you're, that's all you're going by, if that's all what you want, I would encourage you to rethink your strategy. Because the way to get a girl who's prettier than you is to not just focus on the looks. If that's all you're going for, then you're gonna get a girl at best who is just as pretty as you, okay? So let's talk about how to do this right now. Most of the clients that come to me are looking for girls that are prettier than them, or not most of them, um, a lot of them are, are looking for girls that are generally prettier than them. I don't know any of any guy who comes to me for coaching and is like, hey, I would love to get a girl who's uglier than me. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often, okay? So uh, what I generally see is that men focus a lot on the looks because that's what they are focusing on. So stop focusing on the looks so much and think about other things. Okay, take this for example. When you go to the strip club and you go and you're looking at all the naked pretty girls out there, what are the girls wearing? <laughs> or what are they not wearing <laughs> at the strip club, okay? Chances are they probably got some like lace outfit, they probably got some bikinis on, they probably got some you know lingerie or whatever it is. Okay, so they're wearing all of this stuff, all right? Now, if you've ever been to a male strip club, think about what the guys are wearing at the male strip club. You know, they come out and like, it's usually, uh, it's not, sometimes it's a guy in a Speedo, but more often than not, it's a guy who's like a sexy firefighter and he's got the hose and he's whipping it around pretending it's a dick or something, you know, and it's a sexy sea captain or it's a sexy police officer. What do you notice about all of these things? They have a job, okay? <laughs> because even when women are literally throwing it on stage at hot guys, while they're jiggling their, you know, their hips around, they still wanna know that he's got something else besides that junk, <laughs> okay? For women, looks is not enough. You need to have something more and you're just going off of maybe you got some cool pictures on a dating app or something like that, expect to not get a girl who's hotter than you. At best, at best, you can get a girl who is as hot as you. You have to have something else in, you know, that you can show off, something else that's gonna make her attractive to you. And luckily, luckily, women are looking for a lot more than just a pretty face and, you know, six pack abs, or, you know, or giant shoulders or whatever. So they're looking for a lot more than this. So how do you get this? Well, stop focusing on just your appearance. You know, and honestly, I, I say this on my channel sometimes, you gotta have find something that you're gonna be good at and find a way to show that off. Okay, yeah, I don't know what you do or what hobbies you have, but chances are you're probably doing something more than just walking around and talking to people. Now, I'm very good at talking to people, so I can change the game a little bit, but I know there's limits. Unless I show women certain sides of myself, unless I show them that, hey, you know, I have a growing business. Yeah, I'm, I also participate and do a lot of martial arts and jujitsu. You know, I'm also a really motivated and caring person. Like, if I don't show them the other aspects of my personality and they don't see that, they're not going to be into me. So if you think that just walking up and you know uh, acting like acting like you are is is enough, it might, but probably not. You need to find ways that you can show your best self off, those sides of yourself that make you into a high value guy. Because sometimes a guy who is way uglier than the girl he's with gets to win her over, but almost never will a very low value guy who sucks get a really high value woman. There has to be some value exchange there. And if all you're going off of is, you know, maybe you're a pretty face, uh, maybe you're nice, dude, expect to be disappointed. You're, you're not just gonna get a girl who's, you know, if you're lucky, you might get a girl who's the same way, who's just a pretty face and nice. Um, but chances are you're probably gonna get a woman who's below your mate value, okay? Not just in looks, but in terms of, you know, what she brings to the table, okay? So that is how, if you wanna get a woman who's hotter than you, what you have to do. So I encourage you guys, find something that you're gonna get good at. Find a way to show that thing off. Chances are, that thing is probably gonna be something that you enjoy doing so you can do it consistently, okay? Don't make women your primary focus. Make them a secondary focus, but improving yourself should be number one. Always, I've said this before time and time again, if you're making women your primary focus, you're probably not gonna get a high quality one. Okay, if that's all you care about, that's probably not what's gonna be fulfilling for you. 
okay? So um, improve yourself, do that, and I guarantee you, you're gonna be women that are gonna be a lot hotter than you. Now, after that, once you have that down, it becomes, a lot of it becomes marketing, which is what I kind of like teach my uh, co clients to do. So like, let's say you have a great product and you wanna know how to market it. Same thing for a guy who's a great guy, but he just doesn't know how to show those qualities off to a woman. Um, that's more what I teach in my, uh, my coaching program. So uh, if you wanna learn more about that, I have other videos, but I would recommend that you sign up for one of my newsletters or my free trainings, um, and then I can tell you more about it. But really guys, it starts from having those other things. If you don't have those other things, don't expect to get hotter women, okay? And uh, for some people that I coach, a lot of them think they have those other things and they just don't. So uh, I would encourage you to build those first and then work on your marketing later. Cool? All right, you guys, well, thanks for watching. Good luck out there.